thought it went well. Um, some good things on both sides. Um, definitely some room for improvement, but um, thought we played well. Did you get all out of it? Uh, just missing our shots. Uh, left the, left a lot of things out uh, out on the field. Um, but you know, it's training camp. We find that we get it right in the game. Um, obviously, the protection plan. We wasn't game planning for the protection for the things they had up on third down. So they kind of got us on that on that end too. When veterans don't play in the in the preseason, how valuable are these two days for you? Major. Um, you get a chance to go against another team. See where you're at. See where your uh, conditioning is. Um, see how good your game, game's been going. Obviously, you play against the same guys every day, and then you go play against some other team who hasn't seen what you've done. You get to see what, uh, see what it looks like, so pretty good. Would you personally, did you feel it was worth it? Absolutely, always. Um, anytime you get a chance to compete, uh, I love it. So. Did you get all, all, all out of these last couple days that you wanted to get out of it? Yeah, I think so. Um, coming in, competing, going going every rep. Um, it was tough, too, because we, we kind of monitored the practice towards them instead of what we've been doing. So uh, obviously we had more reps and uh, you know, we just had to change change our mindset. Where you said things changed focused on them, what do you mean by that? Uh, I'm talking about like just the, the uh, practice layout. Um, our practice, we, we only do like four plays per set. We did eight uh, to match them. We went four, two, four, two. Four for the ones, two for the twos, but they're gonna be playing obviously. So more geared towards the ones. So we get all the work during the week. For, as a wide receiver, can you, can you get a sense of the competition in the running back group? And you can can you get a, a sense of how they're competing and what the results of that competition is? Absolutely. Um, they're obviously going in there. You got uh, pass protection, pass pro. Um, you running routes on the linebackers. You're picking up uh, blitzes. So, I mean, they, they get a lot of chances to compete. And um, I, I like what's going on in, in the running back room. Obviously, Eckler's going to be number one. And then after that, it's a toss-up. The protection stuff you were talking about yesterday, how much did that disrupt? You know, the work for you guys, just having to deal with the, the stunts and the different factors that are out there for you. It's tough. Um, like I said, in practice, we don't game plan for it. So, obviously, Mike is going to be the guy that's going to move around everywhere, but we're not even trying to, you know, find him and stuff like that right now because, you know, it's practice. So, it, it's tough. They put together a great plan. It's going to be tough to, to block that guy this year. This year. Yes. And uh, he's definitely a hell of an athlete. Have you noticed anything uh, different about Justin this training camp compared to last two years? Um, just understanding the offense better. Um, feeling more comfortable, um, understanding what's going on, understanding what we're trying to get to, um, changing up the, um, the cadences a little bit. So he's getting, I, that's, a, that's one way to see that he's um, being more comfortable and um, you know, just taking advantage of everything. You see him, he stays like an hour and a half after practice just throwing balls. <laughs> it's crazy. How much does it take to get used to that cadence and that the change in the play count, going on two or three? How much does that, how much does that take to get used to? Uh, as a receiver, it doesn't take too much. We're just looking at the ball, seeing when it snapped. Um, Phillip did it a lot. He played with the, with the snap count a lot, so we were kind of used to it. Ian, why do you start laughing when you think Justin throwing the ball? I don't know. Phillip never stayed out to practice throwing the ball. <laughs> 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 Phil put it to work. But, uh, yeah, this guy's out here like an hour and a half after just throwing the same route over and over and over. And if, if it's not a spiral, it just keep throwing the same one. So. We see him over in the distance doing his thing. Uh, stay together. Um, keep learning. Keep getting better. Um, take take practices like this. Go and watch the film. See what we can get better at. Small things, and um, you know, just just find ways to keep getting better. Josh Palmer told us he's watched quite a bit of your film, um, particularly focusing on releases. Mm -hmm. Have you have you noticed him like watching the film back from one on ones or eleven on eleven or whatever? Some of the releases. Yeah, that yeah. He's thrown into his game like model. What you do? Have you noticed that? Yeah, a little bit. Um, just trying to put everything, you know, together. Every I've, I've been doing stuff from guys who played it 10 years ago. So it's, just, it's a mimic league. I say it all the time. We, we do the same stuff. It's just about who can keep finding ways to do it better. So I try to coach him up on it. Yeah, let him, a, let him go from there. From a technique standpoint for him, how much more polished do you feel like he is this year versus last year? Have you seen the development in that area? Probably? Yeah, a lot more polished. Uh, I think his timing is getting better, his patience. Uh, understanding like um, progressions in the read when, he, when he's not the first read, he can take a lot of time doing like technique stuff. You can work him a little bit more. Um, like last year, he was coming out the route so fast, he'd be right underneath the, the first for the first progression route. Like you got way more time than that, so now he's just starting to understand. Um, keep pushing the tempo. Um, getting lined up faster, um, 
understanding that snap count that, he's keep, that he keeps trying to work. We jumped off sides a couple of times today. So just keep understanding that, keep working that, and um, give us an uh, advantage at that. A couple of times uh, Herbert had like a sidearm. Was he doing that a lot, or is that part of the confidence for him? I couldn't tell you. Um, might be a question for him. I, uh, anytime he throws it, I, we try to catch him. Yeah, you know, so however he throws it, just throw it. Kenny, with you, Mike, Austin back, Adam Gerald, do you feel like this is the most experienced skill unit that you've had in a while or since you've been? Yeah, possibly. Um, definitely a great group. Um, like you said, a lot of experience. Um, yeah, it could be. We had uh, me, Stevie, Antonio, and Malcolm Floyd that one year. 